At the beginning of my journey, every time I faced an obstacle, I procrastinated. It always overwhelmed me to think about the obstacles and about the things that I'm going through in order to succeed. When I faced obstacles and roadblocks, I always thought that my journey is harder than the others and it made me feel like I'm running against the wind instead of with the wind. It made me feel like my journey is way longer and is way too difficult than it should be. Only after years of work and grind, I understood this mindset that I'm about to share with you today. And this mindset shifted the way I looked at obstacles and about life in general. And it helped me to achieve far better results in less time than I had before. Anyone who understands this mindset and, and uses it in his life will achieve far better results and will be happier and more satisfied with what he achieves. And that mindset is instead of looking at obstacles and thinking, why me? Think, try me. And what it means is that instead of having a roadblock or an obstacle and thinking that your journey and your path is more difficult than the others and you should have succeeded a long time ago, think that these obstacles are the things that make you a better person and they improve you and they make you the type of person who can achieve great success in his life. There is a quote I want you to think about that says that God gives his hardest battles to his strongest warriors. And what it means is that if you have obstacles and if you face obstacles and roadblocks, it means that God, don't have to be a big believer to understand it, that God challenges you because he knows you can face it. And you should know it too. You should never ever quit because it's hard or because you're having a rough time. You have to understand these challenges are the things that make you a better version of yourself. It's just like when you're riding a bike. It's always the hardest when you're moving up. And when you're moving down, it's the easiest. So if you don't face challenges today, you need to understand that you're probably not going in a positive way. The only way you can achieve your goals is through climbing up the stairs. And by, cli and by climbing these stairs, you're going to improve yourself physically and mentally. But if along the way you're going to feel like these stairs are too much for you and you can't handle them and you choose to take the easy way out, you will never succeed and you must understand it. That these stairs are the only thing that separates between the success and between everyone that wants to achieve it. Because almost everyone in the world wants to have more money, wants to have a better body, wants to have a happy relationships with themselves and with his loved ones, wants to be wiser and smarter, and wants to overall be more successful. But only a selected few can really look at themselves in the mirror and tell themselves that they have done it. And these selected few are the ones who even when, in my opinion, it's the hardest in your journey, when you've already been going through long periods of time, but you still have a long way to the top. And these are the people who achieve their goals and live the life that almost anyone wants to live.